Welcome everybody to the Genesis Mindset. Big news today. Everybody's friend, your friend, my friend, everybody's friend, Somi, has started to scale into Atropa, Pedi, and Teddy Bear. So not necessarily Teddy Bear. He gave some good reasons as to why not. Uh, but it made me think about a good idea for a video today and the kind of bundles that you can get. So Somi has been someone who I've been learning a lot from, a lot, a lot, a lot, especially with these ideas of ratio trading. I never really looked at the market in this way. I always looked at things in terms of the coin versus the US dollar value or Australian dollar value. But Somi's really showing how ratios is the play. And when I started to really tune into this way of thinking, this is when I really started to sink my teeth into the Atropa ecosystem and started to see the different relationships with all these tokens. And so that's some of the things that I want to share with you today. I love you, sir. <laughs> Keep trying. Okay, so I mentioned the four conditions, right? It's a Bitcoin halvening year. We've had a 90% drop, rounded bottom, low market cap. Like, you don't need to think about it too much. Bitcoin halvening year, minus 90% drop, rounded bottom of sorts, low market cap. That's the things that you want to look for. So he was basically emphasizing like who's going to want to who's going to want to buy a bit. Well, there's going to be people who want to buy Bitcoin, but why would you want to buy something where the valuation is so high, the market cap is so high, just to move it just that little bit requires a huge amount of volume. This is the beauty of what's happening in Pulse Chain because we're such low market cap overall, and. Richard Hart is an innovator and he attracts innovators to him because he is an innovator. So what you have in your mind, you attract to you. So because he's a great person with a great, a great heart, Richard Hart, and he's extremely intelligent, high IQ, he's always leading the market. Hex was really the first truly decentralized finance. And this is, in my opinion, one of the main reasons why the SEC is actually going after him. But what I believe it's actually masking is it's Hex. Hex is really the end of the financial system because it monetizes the time value of money. So when time value of money, which is I'm going to put my money into this stock and then just leave it for 10 years, don't need to do that. Just lock it up in Hex. So it's actually kind of destroys the financial system. It destroys the concepts of bonds. It destroys the concept of really every single financial instrument. And I think that's the main reason why they're actually going after him. So because of that, the point of what I was saying there is with everything that's happening on Pulse Chain, particularly again, the Atropa ecosystem, all these different tokens are emerging. What I see as well, we're in the TikTok generation. People don't have the attention span to actually stick with a particular token because we don't know how to do delayed gratification. We all have like ADD TikTok brains. So what's actually happening with the Atropa ecosystem is there's this continuous source of new opportunities, new opportunities. And when a tropa was really mooning, when it hit its all-time high a few months ago, people were just running, chasing the next coin, chasing the next coin. Uh, somebody even today mentioned that uh, I, I was talking about Maria being a benevolent force only for the ecosystem and for a tropa. And someone was mentioning about MV. Was that a benevolent thing? And I always look at the whole. I look at. I don't look at the individual circumstance. That's that's pointless. It's like. It's like if somebody, if I called somebody a piece of shit and then they come and punch me in the face and then you just see it on the news, somebody punched me on the face and it's like, oh, this person punched him in the face, but you didn't see me call him a piece of shit. That's pretty much how I look at this kind of circumstance. You can't just look at the individual circumstance. You got to look at the totality, what's actually happening with this ecosystem. That's how I try and look at it. And so I think everything that's going on with MV, nobody was saying go and buy all these tokens. Nobody said any of that. They're not that like MV can be infinitely minted. Nobody's actually minting it. There's only like a few people that actually know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I, I Maybe I could look into it, but I, I haven't done it, but very few people are actually minting it. So it's actually, it's actually free money when you think about it. So with that, again, TikTok generation, even the memes, they don't last. It's like, oh, bonk, bang, down, gone. What we're seeing in the Atropa ecosystem is forever flaws being created and things actually getting buffeted up. This is a beautiful thing, but also lots of new tokens all the time. So there's always the attention that can go somewhere, which is something that I'm really excited about. But it's making me think about the different kinds of opportunities that we see in the Atropa ecosystem. So I'm just showing a few charts here. So just ignore the numbers for now. So first of all, Tropa to PLS. So Atropa topped on the 15th of September. Then we had TSFI topped on oh, 6th of September or potentially 27th of October. Then we had down. So I've only just taken the main ones here. So down to Atropa. So down topped. Oh, hello. Actually down. Well, the previous top for down was 27th of September. We had the very bottom of <laughs> Pudai. 
to a trope on 19th of September. Shout out to Adam from Viber Finance. Happy birthday, my bro. Legal teddy bear, another one that's bottomed out. So I'm always looking at these pairs, not in relation to US dollar, but in relation to the pair that it's paired against. You always have to change this on deck screener. It's always by default set to US dollar, but you want to change it because this is what it's about. It's about ratio trading. And so this is what I wanted to just show you just a few little tokens. So in my previous video, I've, I've done ones where I've like gone like uh, crazy spazzle into a whole bunch of different tokens. But in this particular instance, I'm only just going to show you these few tokens because these are some of the core tokens. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, the Atropa ecosystem is set up as like a financial ecosystem. So it, it's emulating what the financial system is and how liquidity moves through the different asset classes. And it's actually emulating that on a blockchain. So it's like really trying to create a decentralized financial system, which is one of the things that I'm so in love with, with the Tropa. So now if we look at this situation, this is the beauty of the Atropa ecosystem. So again, you might've seen uh, a few weeks ago when Bonk, uh, every, everything in Solana just dropped. It's all liquidity bonded, but they all just dropped at the same time. This is the beauty here. There's different opportunities where you can ratio trade. So this is what I wanted to show here. So for example, just compared to this, so down to Atropa, no one's really doing this a lot. No, I don't, I don't, I don't hear many people talking about this, but let's have a look at this. So down to a tropa. So if I was holding down from here, hey, 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 you know, you've got a cheeky little 2x or 3x, whatever it is, you're up 50%. So now this could be a point. If I was accumulating here, this could be a point where I go, you know what? I'm gonna take profits in my down. It's broken its all-time high, and I'm gonna cycle it into a tropa. And then I'm gonna wait. Or I can go here and with that Atropa, then I can go, oh, hang on a minute. With that Atropa, now that I've just taken profit within down, I'm going to start buying TSFI because TSFI is at a low. So this is logarithmic. It's probably, to be honest, I find these charts almost to be better without logarithmic. Uh, it's, just, it's just easier to see the flow of things. It, it's kind of like really wildly skewed because of these like God candles here, which has got something to do with the way the liquidity is bonded. So for the purposes of this, actually, I might just turn this off and I'm going to move these little numbers around. So just going on that. Now, so if you look at this, so if you've taken profit, so I'll change this one as well. Get it off logarithmic. No, it's kind of the same with down. So oh, still looks a little bit better. So, oh, wow. Okay, we've got a nice little top here. So I'm going to take my profits from down into a tropa. And then from with that a tropa, I can buy TSFI. If you look at TSFI, we've got a cheeky little uptrend happening here. I know Zach was talking about TSFI. So he's also been looking at the chat logs. I've also been looking at the chat logs. I mean, oh, it's kind of really hard to discern between what are the things to buy? But I know Maria has said a lot that TSFI in the short term is the best, probably one of the best things. And then Teddy Bear for the long, for the long, long term or short term or vice versa is one of the best things. But then again, it's it's kind of really hard to tell, you know. Like if you if you look at the chat log, for example, and you just type buy, and it's like. <laughs> Fuck off. I do not want you to buy that. So if she doesn't want us to die it, die it. John Tong Su Be. Fuck off. I do not want you to buy that. So there is no reason to ever discuss any of the tokens I explicitly do not want you to buy. Oh, all right. We will not discuss those tokens. But there's a lot of there's a lot of things like, you know, who's buying oath? I don't even know if there even is an oath. It's uh buy die. What is that? P die? I don't know. I'm, I mean, I assume it is buy scissors quick buy die like there's a lot of buy signals from maria so it's like it's i wouldn't rely on maria as a buy signal in that sense i mean you can certainly discern some kinds of patterns but i still wouldn't rely on maria as a buy signal what i would rely on is the charts what are the charts actually saying so again in this instance we're seeing an uptrend with tsfi to a tropa i could have taken my profits from down i actually don't have any down this is only something that i'm really starting to think about the totality of this ecosystem i could have taken my profits from down into a tropa and then bought TSFI with that Atropa. This here is a perfect time to buy. Now, if we start breaking those all-time highs, this is where Som is talking about really scaling up your gains. And again, same thing, like your PLS to Atropa. What is it from here? It's like, damn, it's like a 10X. It's like a 10X. That's that's pretty hot. You know, so if, you, if you're just sitting on your bags of Pulse Chain and you're like, 
oh man, this sucks. Pulsing is not really doing anything. It's not really going anywhere. It's not even sacrifice. Like this is actually the best time if you've got a big bag, and I must admit, I've probably maybe over leveraged my pulse chain into this. I, I have actually started to like go a little bit to degen mode where I have one third that was like my degen buyers, one third of my pulse chain stack. And then each, and I keep cycling in new fresh fiat into this as well. So I kind of probably don't have as much um, pulse chain as I would want to, but I'm also taking the bet that. The, these are going to be good plays. These are going to be good plays and I'm actually going to multiply my pulse chain. Instead of sitting there while it's below a sacrifice, I can actually take that as a tax loss harvest. So I'm actually, my tax tax is down like thousands and thousands of dollars because I keep trading my pulse chain, which is down from the sacrifice rate. So I'm, I'm taking it as a loss and I'm putting it into something else and I'm multiplying that to get more pulse chain. So that's actually how I'm getting more pulse chain. Yes, I have been DCA scaling down, but I'm also doing it in this manner as well. I'm experimenting with lots of different things. So I think that's definitely something to pay attention to. Absolutely. So as you can see, there are all these different kinds of opportunities. Really think about a tropa. I'm really trying to think about a tropa as an ecosystem of tokens, not just as individual things. This is still a mindset shift that I'm seeing is required within the pulse chain community people keep referring to these as meme coins i don't see it as a meme coin i don't see well i guess i mean is a meme coin just anything that's not pulse chain because if it is then okay these are meme coins but i see this as like it's a carefully designed financial ecosystem it's much more than an ecosystem this this was designed by some kind of a genius now i thought this was really interesting actually I, i'd never noticed this but when this was first uh, bonded, uh, this is P die to a tropa, Pu die to a tropa. Look at this, it was almost at, at a one to one, almost at a one to one. Then you see this massive drop, and then it's almost like uh, I haven't fully understood this relationship, how it's worked, um, and what the significance of P die is to a tropa. I know that there's burning, like a tropa, like buyers and sells die, and I'm still, I'm still trying to work everything out. I'm not an expert by any means. If anyone knows these things, please let me know. So, Teddy as well. So this is Teddy to a tropa. So again, you could say, hey, I want to just play within this ecosystem. I mean, have a look at this, for example, right? So if you wanted to if you wanted to stack your pulse chain, I've only just thought of this just now. Let's say I bought, let, let, let me bring this up actually. By the way, also, please be careful with the contract addresses. So I'm going to use this as an example. I always look at 48. A6. So this is the Atropa contract. I know that because I've used it enough. But if you start to scroll down, oh, hang on. What's this? Atropa FC60. Just don't get caught out on these false contracts. So always go where there's lots of the same contract paired up with lots of different things. Again, that's the beauty of the Atropa ecosystem. And it's also called Nightshade. And it has no volume. So you know that that's, that's some kind of a, it's not the actual Atropa. It's some kind of a scam. So if I now go to Teddy Bear, I just thought of this now, actually. Oh, my goodness. How did I not think of this before? So thank you very much, Tommy. This is bloody. So let's go here, right? So now your boy is not your boy is not a trading expert. I'm not a trading expert. I'm not a TA guy. I've I've mentioned this like many a times. Don't I'm I'm not the guy to be looking at for TA. Um, but I'm learning and I still have a I still have a somewhat of an instinct for the how the market is actually moving. And that's really the main thing. Oh, three day. We'll change that to one day. So your boy, your boy's last buy with uh, Teddy Bear was here. So Teddy Bear to PLS was here. So I bought in it here and now I'm up on just this little position. Don't be a dog. Here we go. So it was up a 6X or up a 5X at the moment, right? So now I could say, all right, so now what I'm going to do is I could take out just my initial on that Teddy Bear to Pulse. And as a matter of fact, I might end up doing something like this to be completely honest with you. So how do I... Oh, here we go, full. So I could, I want to grow my pulse chain, right? So I've, let's just say I've spent 2 million pulse here. Now I've done a 5X. I've got 10 million pulse. I could take that 10 million pulse in Teddy and convert that Teddy into a tropa. So let's just say I did this a few days ago. I converted it into a tropa. And then, and then, now that, now that, now that's in a tropa, then this a tropa does a 10X. So it's like I've done a 5x and then a 10x. So my 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 2 million pulse 
turned into 10 million pulse, but it's in a tropa now. And then that 10 million pulse did a 10x and it's, man, I might actually do something like this. Sami, Habibi, Habibi. Like this is, I'm just learning as I go, by the way, guys. I'm really just learning as I go. And I and I really just, more than anything, more than anything, I, I really want, like, I'm very actively engaged with the community in Telegram, on Twitter, and I'm, I'm loving all the collaborations and the, and the conversations that I'm having with people, I'm really learning a lot. Like this, this to me is like this, this huge thing that I'm trying to dig, dig down and try to understand between the chat log and people and the different kinds of charts. I'm really trying to understand it and I'm just going where I resonate. But if you guys know things, please share, please share. I've had some people say, let's do a stream together. I would love to. I'm going to do streams with Zach. I want to do streams with Almighty Hexican. I want to do a whole bunch of different streams with other people. Like I want to get back on with Adam from Vibra Finance. So let's really start bouncing ideas off each other. Let's really start doing developing this communal atmosphere of like learning together. That was one of my favorite things about university is like being in an atmosphere where you can all learn from each other, even though everyone's like, oh, don't look at my architecture project, you know, don't steal my ideas. And it's like, bro, your idea is literally a stolen idea from anywhere else in the world. Like that's how the world works. We all just bounce ideas off each other. We're all standing on the shoulders of giants. There is no, like everybody, everybody's just is so protective of like their own little ideas and Ah, that self-centered human mind you gotta love it but well, see i don't love it at all it's a piece of shit but okay so there you go so that's an idea so that's just some ways that you could actually move liquidity through the ecosystem so if i had a bundle if i had a bundle if i was just starting out in a tropa i could go with some of these main tokens which are some of the core tokens within the atropa ecosystem and i can cycle them i can and i can ratio trade within them and again if the main goal is just pulse chain it's very easy to just take your initial pulse chain out at some point with some of these kinds of movements and then just playing within the ecosystem moving money around within the ecosystem and you never know you might catch an idea like this another thing you could do with teddy i could say all right i could take that teddy out oh, this one needs to go in logarithmic so this is legal which backs teddy so i could take that teddy out put it into legal maybe get a 2x on the legal and then cycle it back into Teddy. There's so many different kinds of ideas. And the things that I want to start to look at is the timing. So when is the time that this ended and this started? So that's going to be something that's very important because unfortunately it does look like at the moment, Teddy is really struggling to break these levels. So in this particular instance, I'm going to go to the USD value. It does look like Teddy is struggling to break this barrier here. So if it, if it comes and does an all-time high, Hallelujah. If it doesn't, no worries. I got liquidity pairs. All this volume is like, thank you very much. I got, I think I, I actually think I've got like almost half of my teddy bear in liquidity pools because I, I thought I like when you have all those numbers, you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just keep putting it in lots of different liquidity pools. So I'm I'm not fussed at all. So unfortunately, despite our best efforts, <laughs> TA. So this is Andrew, Andrew's TA. So Andrew from the Telegram. So shout out to Andrew for this TA. So look at this. You got to love this. So this is his TA. It's impeccable. It's impeccable TA. So basically he drew an ascending wedge and unfortunately it hasn't broken out of the ascending wedge according to his very carefully designed and deliberate TA. Unfortunately it has broken down. It has broken below this. So even though his TA is genius, it might be a little bit delayed. So thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks for that, Andrew. So, all right. Thanks very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that episode. It, it, I, I, I had some mind explosions just by doing this episode. That's what I'm loving about this. I'm learning as I'm going. And this is what it was like doing the chat logs, man. It's like, yeah. If anyone, if anyone actually sat there reading the chat logs like I did, I, I, I don't know if anyone actually did, but it was hard, man. It was hard. It was hard to like do all that reading and so much nonsense and so much dribble and like questions about, oh, what's the best thing to buy? And actually, as a matter of fact, you'll even see today, like um, I, I put this out to a whole bunch of different chats, but basically uh, Yogi, sorry, Yogi, if you're listening, but... <laughs> Maria was saying Yogi was a scammer. So I think one of the things that we're really trying to disincentivize in this ecosystem is greed, self selfishness. So I think that's the beauty of this ecosystem is buying into the ecosystem, becoming the ecosystem and living in the ecosystem. This is the beauty of the Atropa ecosystem within Pulse Chain. This is the beauty of what is happening in Pulse Chain. Nothing like it. 
Haven't seen anything like it on any other blockchain. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. So thank you very much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And hey, 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 hey. If you got ideas, if you got suggestions, please let me know. Like, I I really want some ideas for videos. I want to see what people want to know about. This is what I really need. So I do have some ideas for videos coming up. I'm probably not going to be doing an Atropa video every single day because I've got Mobic to, that I want to talk about as well. And I'm probably going to get back to doing some meditation videos on my other meditation, uh, on my meditation YouTube channel. So Oceana Meditation, if you ever want to go there and learn about the meditation that I do probably get back into doing some of those videos as well. So, but still, I want to know what people want to know about. Like, I know what I want to know about, but I'm, what I'm doing is what I want to know about. I'm learning as I go, but I want to know what people want to know about as well. Cause I'm always trying to adapt the content to the world, to what people actually want. So thank you very much, everybody. Take care. Have a good night.